December is soon coming to a close, with that comes January. Today we will be discussing sneakers to resell in the month of January. If you're not into reselling, that's okay as well. You could use this guide to know what are going to be the most hyped sneakers, the most limited, or even what popular general releases may potentially go on sale, because hey, we're all trying to save a little bit of money. Specifically, we'll be discussing the name of the sneaker, the retail, the release date, and whether the sneaker will be profitable or not, or if they may even potentially sit on shelves, resulting in a sale price. Feel free to subscribe and enable post notifications just to stay 100% up to date on all those profitable releases. Also, be sure to follow my Twitter for more urgent updates and site lists, Keith Adam 10 and also personals for you. Kicking it off with January 2nd, we will be seeing the Nike Raygun pack release at most retailers. However, Nike themselves will be dropping them on sneakers on the 15th of January. The Blazers with a retail of $110, the Air Force One at $110 as well, the Kyrie 7 for $130 and the Air Raid for $140. $45. For all of which, I would suggest these for personal only. However, I don't suggest sleeping if you do want a personal pair as I don't expect them to go for below retail anyway. Then on January 6th, the Jordan Why Not Upbringing for $130 will be dropping. Similar to the last pairs, I only suggest these for personal wear, but don't sleep if you do want a personal pair as I don't expect them to go for below retail anyway. Also on the 6th for $120, the Air Force One Craft and Orange will be dropping. Although I do expect these to sell out, you should be able to get these for under under retail in the secondary market if you do want a personal pair. Then moving on to January 9th, this is where the month actually begins to get a little bit fun. And this is where the profitable drops actually start coming up. Starting, we have the Jordan 1 Volt Gold dropping in both men and grade school pairs. Men will be $170 and grade school will be $130. Although these won't be the most profitable Jordans, this is going to be a great drop for all. Expect men's sizes to be profitable with a good margin still, and of course, expect grade school sizes to be even more profitable with a great margin. What makes this drop so great though, is because unlike many of the recent drops we've been seeing, this pair won't be too too difficult to get, so we'll likely see a pretty solid amount of cookouts on these, definitely a drop to look forward to. Now, prior to moving on, I do have an exciting announcement for you guys who have been patiently waiting. Endurance will finally be restocking on January 1st at 4 p.m. Eastern Time or 10 p.m. CET in Europe, tweeted from Keith Adam 10 Endurance is a group to help you fully exploit the secondary market, but what makes Endurance so different though? Well, to start off, Endurance offers numerous softwares completely free for all members to help them exploit drops. All members have access to a location spoofer to help them exploit sneakers stashes, sneakers passes, frenzy drops, etc. All members have access to an autofill tool with auto checkout and, and auto add to cart to destroy drops and restocks even if they don't have a bot. All members have access to a custom queue bot to help them efficiently pass waiting rooms on sites like Adidas, Finish Line, Mesh, Snipes, and even has a cookie feature for efficiently passing queue on Yeezy Supply. There's also a supreme add to cart bot to make manual checkouts extremely easy which has now actually been implemented into the autofiller. There's also a Dick Sporting Goods bypass system, and for any botters, we also offer free software to help you guys out as well. For example, this could turn a one-click Gmail, profile converter, account gen, and much more, and even cheap in-house residential proxies available 24-7 for the most reliable providers. But that's not the end of it. We love innovation, and we're always developing new things to separate us from others. Then, of course, we have amazing relationships with a number of elite commercial bots for group buys that members actually want. My personal favorite recently was the Union Jordan 4 staff since members were prepared with the exact time and coordinates to spoof to, not to mention even the custom coded spoofer we made for all members to use for free, as well as the Air Force One Paranoia Sneaker Scratcher Shock Drop. So again, the Endurance restock will be on January 1st at 4 p.m. Eastern Time, 10 p.m. CET in Europe. Mark your calendars and set your alarms. Also, potentially on the 9th, we may be seeing the Jordan 9 change the world drop for about $190, but I do suspect that these may actually get delayed, but regardless, nothing to concern about because I'd only suggest these for personal wear only anyway. Moving on to the 13th though, we have an insane drop. The SB Dunk Street Hawker, also known as the Chinese New Year SB Dunk, will be releasing for $110 or $120, but that retail does not matter, trust me. Regardless of what the retail is, you could certainly expect these to be extremely profitable with an incredible margin as well. Definitely a drop to look forward to. On the next day, we have a pretty hectic day, January 14th for $100. We should be seeing the Dunk Low Black in women's sizes drop. These may potentially drop a week later on the 21st, but for now, it is set for the 14th, and I'll keep you guys updated, of course, so be sure to subscribe and enable post notifications. Regardless, though, expect these to be very profitable with a great margin whenever they do end up dropping. Similarly, also on the 14th for $100, we will be seeing the Dunk Low UNLV release. Again, 
expect these to be very profitable with a great margin as well. Then on January 15th for $110, the Puma Ralph Samson Peanuts collab will be releasing. For now, I'll say personal only, but I will have to keep you guys updated on these since some Pumas recently did have somewhat decent demand and sometimes these types of products do end up being lunch money cooks, so we'll see. I'll keep you guys updated. Then on January 16th for $190, the Jordan 13 Starfish will be releasing. I'm not expecting anything notable for these, likely similar to what we saw on the Jordan 13 Lucky Green, so personal only for these, but if you do want a personal pair, don't sleep as I don't expect them to sell for below retail, and you may potentially be able to get some decent local sales off these. Nothing too great though. Then on January 21st, the Jordan 4 Starfish will be dropping for $190. We may see a similar performance to what we saw on the Laser Orange Women's Jordan 3s, but for that reason I'd say keep a note of these, but only expect lunch money in sizes 10 and up at best. Nothing too significant, but again, potential for some lunch money to be made nonetheless. Then on January 23rd, the Jordan 23 Titan will finally be having their global release. They already had their drop exclusively in the Philippines on December 23rd, but January 23rd will be the global drop for these. Although they have a lot of demand right now, the high retail of $250 really, really hurts the potential for these to be profitable. For now, I'd suggest these for personal only. Then on the same day as well with a similar situation, the Jordan 35 Titan will be dropping. Retail is a little lower at $180 on these, but demand isn't as high as the other pair. At best, I would only expect lunch money to be made at the very large sizes for these. Moving on to January 28th though, for $120, according to Pirates, the Dunk Low PRM Dark Russet will be dropping. Expect these to be very profitable with a great margin as well when they do end up dropping. Evidently, we have a lot of dunks to look forward to this month. We should be seeing the Jordan 9 University Gold Drop. I'd suggest these for personal wear only, but don't sleep if you do want a personal, as I don't expect them to go for under retail. Also, on January 30th for $190, as well, the Jordan 3 Cool Gray may be dropping. Although a very nostalgic colorway due to the high stock, I'm only expecting lunch money at best for these, mainly for the people with no tax in their state. Now with those drops with dates out of the way, now let's move on to some drops that currently don't have dates but are still set to be dropping sometime in January. First of all, the Adidas Superstar Bape collab should be dropping sometime in January according to Pirates for $150 each. There should be two colorways of these. Although Adidas Bape collabs used to do really well due to the influx in stock and the decline in demand for BAPE collabs haven't really been performing the way they used to unfortunately. And these aren't really anything special either, therefore I'd only expect lunch money at best when it comes to these. Also in January with no date yet, the Nike Dunk Thank You For Caring will be dropping likely for around $110. Without a doubt though, whatever retail they are, expect these to be extremely profitable with an incredible margin as well. Also in January with no date for $230, the Yeezy 380 Yekorite should be dropping. Due to the lack of demand recently on 380s. I'd suggest these for personal wear only and they may even potentially sell for below retail based off of the recent 380s. We'll see though and of course I'll keep you guys updated on all these. But anyway, that will conclude it for today. Remember, the limited endurance restock will take place on January 1st at 4 p.m. Eastern Time, 10 p.m. CET in Europe. Tweeted from Keith Adam 10. Feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed or you perhaps learned a thing or two. Also subscribe and enable post notifications if you happen to be new here. Of course, follow my Twitter, KeithAdam10, and personals for you for more urgent updates and site lists, etc. With that though, enjoy the rest of your day and good luck on all these upcoming drops this month. And of course, Happy New Year.